life on Mars isn't just a sci-fi pipe dream. It's something that the aerospace community is taking very seriously, and was made even more enticing following the recent discovery of a very important compound on the planet, water. Finding a place where liquid water seeps across the surface of Mars, and presumably is underground as well, gives you a setting where life could exist. You could take microbes from Earth, the right kind of microbes, put them in the right part of Mars, and we know they would survive. An exciting possibility. So how likely are we to jet off to the Red Planet in, say, the next 10 years? Within 10 years, I think they're definitely pushing it. I think the technology is there, but the funding is the biggest problem of all. And um, Mars One, I think, you know, doing this by selling the TV rights. But even so, the amount of money you need to get to Mars, I mean, we're talking about the multiple billions. OK, so maybe not in the next 10 years, but the question of funding isn't stopping scientists from trying to figure out ingenious ways for the first Earth-born Martians to survive on the Red Planet. One of the biggest questions that scientists are battling with is what we would eat once we've travelled the 34 million miles or so to get to Mars. These soil scientists in the Netherlands are trying to figure that out. They're working on a way to grow crops in space, using controlled conditions, but experimenting with both lunar and Martian soil. We wanted to work with real Mars and Moon soil, of course, but that's impossible to get. So instead what we did was look on the internet uh, if there was a substitute, but there was. So you can just order it and NASA made it. Experimenting with dirt that simulates Martian soil, purchased from NASA, these researchers have been cultivating crops like potatoes in controlled conditions. On Mars it's very cold, uh, minus 100 degrees or something like that is not that uncommon. And uh, there is almost no air, so nothing can grow outside for now. So we go inside uh, and then we control all the circumstances. We have normal air, normal air pressure, we can water it. There is of course a lot of water on Mars. The next step for the scientists has been to introduce earthworms to the soils. These squirmy critters could be the key to life on Mars. As well as breaking down organic matter, worms help aerate the soil and increase the amount of water that can get to a plant. So far, the experiments have been promising. The worms are surviving in the Martian soil mix, meaning we could potentially grow crops using real Martian soil one day. So whilst life on Mars might not be something we'll see in the next decade, eventually, the humble earthworm might be key to Martian life.